Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Some of the most spectacular images of the volcano in Iceland come from British photographer John Beatty. John took these pictures, and he's got quite a story to tell. And he joins us now this morning from Leeds, England. Good morning. Good morning. Very good to hear you. How was it that you were in Iceland? Did, how, were you there on, on, on a job? I just heard you say the right place at the right time, and that's exactly what happened to me. I travelled over to Iceland on a, uh, from a phone call from a friend of mine, Jon Magnusson in Reykjavik, who is a glacier guide. And I run, um, I take clients up into the high latitudes, into the Arctic to do trips with photography. Mm. And he said, look, John, you've got to come and see this uh, volcano. It's just incredible. So I went for that purpose. Wow. And then I took some uh, outdoor clothing with me to photograph for a company in Britain. And um, that's how I was actually there. Okay. These pictures, how, as extensively as you have traveled, seeing what you saw, how surprised were you? Well... Harry, I have been all over the world to some of the most spectacular things that nature can do in the raw. And I've traveled through the Grand Canyon on the water, I've crossed oceans and deserts and ice caps. And I have to say that being this close to the furious majesty of raw nature was right up there with the very best experiences I've ever had. Mm -hmm. As I read through your notes, because you kept, kept, kept some really terrific notes about this, it, your boots were lit. Did it seem like they were melting right into the into the crust of the earth? Well, what happened was that on about the fourth day, the we experienced a small earthquake, and during the next four hours after the earthquake, the vent of the volcano actually closed tight, and it stopped spewing lava. And so for 12 hours, the lava was cooling down, mm. and we went down into that cooling lava and walked about in it in the steam and the smoke. <laughs> well, yeah. you, these pictures are really breathtaking. Here, we're looking at your little tent that you have pitched. Uh, it, oh, yeah. It looks like you're right on, the, right on the cusp of it all. We were on a good vantage point, but we were there for safety, you know, because some of the explosions and the fountains of lava were throwing out bombs of hot rock, and mm. we had to keep out of that zone. But the reason the tent was there was as a windbreak for, like, a little base camp, because, of course, we're on top of a glacier, right. and it's several degrees below zero and a strong wind blowing. These pictures are really, really cool. <laughs> they were looking at the <laughs> one where uh, someone in a parka is sort of, sort of meandering through the steam, literally just coming off of the earth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was like a primeval garden. It, I felt like I was stepping back in time to the very, very beginnings of the earth. And as I walked along, I knew that these were the first human footprints on brand new soil. Mm, mm, well said, well said. John Beatty, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. Do appreciate it. Great. Really appreciate the pictures, too. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.